Hello children. Today in mathematics for standard 4, we are going to learn lesson number 4, subtraction. When is subtraction used? Subtraction is used to find out the difference between two numbers. The subtraction can be done in two methods. One is the vertical arrangement and the second one is the horizontal arrangement. Now let us do a revision what we have learned in our previous standards. Subtraction of three digit numbers without borrowing. Solve the following sums. A number is given 697 minus 521. We have to arrange it according to its places. We should always keep in mind that the bigger number will be on the top and the smaller number will be below it. And we start subtracting from the units place. So how much is 7 minus 1? 6. How much is 9 minus 2? 10 place. 7. Hundreds place. 6 minus 5, 1. So our answer is 176. We'll see one more example. 395 minus 204. We start from the units place. 5 minus 4 is 1. Tens place, 9 minus 0 is 9. Hundreds place, 3 minus 2 is 1. So our answer is 191. Subtraction of 4 digit numbers without borrowing. Vertical arrangement. Seven thousand five hundred and twenty six minus four thousand two hundred and five. We start from the units place six minus five is how much? One tens place two minus zero is two hundreds place five minus two is three thousands place seven minus four is three. So our answer is. 3,321. We'll see one more example. 6,624 minus 2,110. We arrange them according to their places. We start from the units place. 4 minus 0 is 4. Tens place 2 minus 1 is 1. Hundreds place, 6 minus 1 is 5. Thousands place, 6 minus 2 is 4. So our answer is 4514. Now we shall learn subtraction of 5 digit numbers without borrowing in vertical arrangement. Here one more column will be increased, that is 10,000 column. So the number given to us is 25,398. We have to subtract it by 12,364. Again we start from the units place. 8 minus 4 is 4. Tens place, 9 minus 6, how much do we get? 3. Hundreds place, 3 minus 3 is 0. Thousands place 5 minus 2 is 3 and 10 thousands place 2 minus 1 is 1. So our answer is 13,000 
and 34. Now we shall do the next arrangement that is horizontal arrangement. Subtract horizontally. Seven thousand six hundred and fifty two minus two thousand five hundred and thirty one. First, we have to write the place on the given digits that is thousands, hundreds, tens, and units. We start from the units place. Two minus one is one. Tens place. Five minus three is two. Hundreds place. Six minus five is one. And thousands place. Seven minus two is five. So answer is five thousand one hundred and twenty one. We will see one more similar example. Subtract horizontally. 3256 minus 24. Again we write the place of the given digit. That is thousand, hundreds, tens and units. And with the help of arrows we start solving the sum. We start from the units place. 6 minus 4 is 2. Tens place. 5 minus 2 is 3. Hundreds place. They have given us 2. But in the next set of numbers, in the hundreds place, there is nothing. So we assume that it is 0. So 2 minus 0 is 2. In the thousands place also it is the same thing. So 3 minus 0 is 3. So the answer is 3232. Now we will subtract horizontally using 5 digit numbers. 26231 minus 14021. Again we write the places of the given digits. 10,000, 1,000, hundreds, tens and units. We start from the units place. 1 minus 1 is 0. Tens place, 3 minus 2 is 1. Hundreds place, 2 minus 0 is 2. Thousands place, 6 minus 4 is 2. And 10,000 place, 2 minus 1 is 1. So our answer is 12,210. Now we shall learn subtraction by borrowing. Arrange vertically and subtract. 207 minus 165 so we will arrange them one below the other and we will write the places on top hundreds, tens and units we begin from the units place 7 minus 5 is 2 now here we have in the tens place 0 on top and 6 below it. So we have to subtract 6 from 0. So we cannot do that. So we have to borrow 1 from the hundreds place. So in tens place it will become 10 minus 6 4 and in hundreds place since we had given 1 to the tens place we will cut 2 and we will write 1 over there. So, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, our answer is 42. Subtraction of 4 digit numbers by borrowing. 
972 minus 7000 sorry 9072 minus 7548 place them one below the other in vertical arrangement and then write the place of it we start from the units place in the units place we cannot subtract 8 from 2 so we borrow 1 from the tens place so here in units place it will become 12 12 minus 8 is 4 and in the tens place since we have given 1 in the units place it will be the previous number that is 6 6 minus 4 is 2 again in the hundreds place we have 0 on top and 5 below it so we cannot subtract 5 from 0 so we borrow 1 from the thousands place so here it will become 10 so 10 minus 5 is 5 and thousands place we cut 9 and we have got 8, the previous number. So, 8 minus 7 is 1. So, our answer is 1524. Subtraction of 5 digit numbers by borrowing. 45,005 subtracted by 37,857. Now in the units place we have 5 and to be subtracted 7 from 5. So which is not possible. So we borrow from tens place. But tens place also 0 is there on the top and 5 is below it. So we cannot they borrow from tens place. So we go to the hundreds place. Hundreds place also it is the same. So we go to the thousands place. So we borrow 1 from thousands place to hundreds place. Then we will borrow 1 from hundreds place to tens place. And then we will borrow 1 from tens place to units place. So here in hundreds place since we have borrowed 1 from thousands place. It will become 10. In tens place, we took 1 from hundreds place, so it became 10. And in units place, it will become 15 over here. So 15 minus 7 is 8. Since 1 was given in the units place from tens place, it will be 9 minus 5, 4. 1 was given from hundreds place and tens place. So here also it will be 9 minus 8 is 1. And since 1 was given from thousands place to hundreds place, here it will be 4. Now 7 cannot be subtracted from 4. So we have to borrow from 1 from ten thousands place. So here it will be 14. And from 10 thousands place, since we have borrowed 1 in thousands place, it will be 3. So 14 minus 7 is 7 and 3 minus 3 is 0. So the answer is 7148. Now there were 3 boys, 3 students who came to the teacher. Their names were Jagan, Gagan and Ragan. And teacher gave them same sums to solve. That is 7568 minus 32. So when Jagan solved it, he got the answer 7248. When Gagan solved the same sum, he got the answer 4368. And when Ragan solved the same sum, he got the answer 7538.
36. So all three of them got different answers. Now let us see how they got different answers and what was their mistake. So the teacher checked Jagan's and Gagan's work first. Jagan had written the number 32 in hundreds and tens place. So because of that it was wrong and Gagan had written 32 in thousands and hundreds place. As you can see over here. So both of their answers were wrong. Why? Because 32 and Ragan had written 32 in tens and units place. Ragan is correct because 32 is a two digit number. 3 in the tens place and 2 in the units place. So Ragan's answer was correct that is 7536. So children you must always remember that whenever you are doing subtraction you have to keep in mind that you have to subtract the bigger number from a smaller number and you have to write the correct digits in the proper places. If you don't do this, you will get wrong answer. Hope you all have enjoyed watching the video and you all have understood. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and share my video. Thank you.